With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everybody. So our question is, a thermodynamic system is taken through the cycle A, B, C, D, A. Calculate the work done by the gas during the part A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. Find the total heat rejected by the gas during the process. Okay, so we have been given a question that a thermodynamic system is taken through a cycle A, B, C, D, A and we have to tell what is the work done by the gas during the parts A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A and we have to find the total heat rejected by the gas during this entire process. Okay, after looking at the graph, we can say that the vertical axis is representing the pressure line and the horizontal axis is representing the volume line. So it is a PV chart correct now the process ab is representing constant pressure line or constant pressure process the process b to c is rep representing isochoric process that is volume is constant similarly the process c to d is also representing the isobaric process that is the pressure is constant in the process c to d and likewise in the process d to a the volume is constant Hence, it is a isochoric process. Okay, so as we know, work done is given as P times dV. Okay, now in the process, in process B to C, B to C and D to A, D to A. Since volume is constant, so change in the volume dV is equals to zero. Correct. So work done in the process b to c is equals to work done in the process d to a is equals to how much zero correct so we have calculated the uh, work done in the process b to c and work done in the process d to a okay now for the processes a to b and c to d the work done is given as so let us first of all calculate for process process a to b okay a to b correct now work done for, for the process a to b is given as pressure time into change in the volume that is delta v correct now the pre pressure in the process a to b is 100 kilopascal so it will be 100 into 10 cube that much of pascal into change in the volume okay so final volume is volume at point b minus volume at point a correct now Substituting the values, we get volume at point B is 300 centimeter cube and volume at point A is 100 centimeter cube. So the difference will be 200 centimeter cubes. Correct. 200 centimeter cubes. Converting it into meter cubes. So multiply with a factor of 10 raised power minus 6. Okay. From here, what we get is the work done in the process A to B is 20 joules. Correct. So work done in the process A to B is how much? 20 joules. Now for the process C to D. Okay. For, for process C to D. Correct. So work done in the process C to D is equals to pressure at C or D into change in the volume. Okay. So pressure at C into change in the volume will be the final volume that is at D minus initial volume that is volume at C. Okay. So pressure at C is 200 kilopascals. So it will be 200 into 10 raised power 3 pascals. And the change will be again 200 but with a negative sign. Correct. Since volume at D is how much? 100 centimeter cube minus 300 centimeter cube converting it into meter cube. So multiply with a factor of 10 raised power minus 6. Okay. From here what we get is work done in the process C to D will come about minus 40 joules. Correct. So we have calculated the work done in the different processes that is A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. So in the second part we have to tell the total heat rejected by the gas during the entire process. Okay. So first of all let's calculate the total work done by the gas in the entire process so total work done work done okay it will be 
work done in the process A to B plus work done in the process B to C plus work done in the process C to D plus work done in the process D to A. Correct. Now, the work done in the process A to B is 20 joules plus work done in the process B to C is 0 plus work done in the process C to D is minus 40 joules. Correct. Now, plus work done in the process D to A is again 0. So, total work done is our total work done is minus 20 joules. Correct. Now, the given cycle was a complete cycle. Correct. So, as we know that for a cyclic process, for a cyclic process, the change in the, the change in the internal energy, internal energy is how much is zero. Correct. So, du will be what? du will be zero. Correct. Now, using the first law of thermodynamics, what we can say is the total heat dq is equals to the total work done plus the change in the internal energy. Since we know that the change in the internal energy for the cyclic process is zero, so this term will be equals to zero. So, therefore, what we can con conclude from it that the total heat rejected by the entire process in by the gas is equal to the total work done by the gas in the entire process. Okay. And the total work done by the entire process is minus 20 joules. Okay. So, our answer is dq is equal to minus 20 joules. Minus sign is representing that the heat is rejected by the system or the gas. Okay. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.